I've made my choice, Addy. I'm calling her the Jackdaw. A sly bird I loved as a child back in Swansea. A dark little creature, no? Did it rub you wrong when I took this brig as mine own? <laughs> it was the sort of rub I have learned to enjoy, sailing among faces of such fairness. It's true. Most of these men wouldn't accept you as a captain. So what fair role would complement such unfairness? I'll be your quartermaster. Nothing less. All right. And as quartermaster, have you any immediate counsel for this Tyro captain? Rest and repast would do us good before Nassau. Water for drinking. Hunting for food and repairs. Well reasoned, sir. Hunting, it shall be. We'll find a decent place to drop anchor. I spied a few items in the hold earlier. Powder and a few pistols. I think I'll fashion a second holster if I can. <laughs> It's a good start. One you find laughable. Will we talk a moment about the condition of the ship? What's the trouble? I had a walk about the gun deck this morning and couldn't stand for what I saw. A clutter of linstocks heaped like tinder and one with a slow match still burning. Christ. And just nearby, two barrels of gunpowder, closer than man and wife, fit to explode at the touch of a spark. We'll stow ours good and proper. As for the cannons, they might as well be tossed. Clogs touch holes in need of scraping, Corrosion on the bodies, barrel swabs as naked as knives, and breech ropes so rotted I could use them for knitting yarn. The short of it is, we need good equipment kept in fine condition. But we cannot win every battle with snares and shouts. So worry about your own armaments when it suits you. But don't forget about your jackdaws. No, indeed. We'll make it a point to keep this ship and its crew in fine condition. Do me Johnny Poker, do! Oh, do Ghost the Royals, come! And soon we'll be a dungeon town! Do me Johnny Poker, Muzzle that duck, my chums! Loose and swim too! Let's catch some wind, lads! Stop, stop! Let's get moving! Cruise down! Man your sheets! Ah. Oh, the Royals are coming! Clue up gallons! Loose all and trim sharp to the wind! Aloft, lads! Shorten sail! Get off the squall! Trim off the wind, my... Stunsels! Let's ride this squall! Haul in the stunsels! For the rocks, sir! Haul down! Haul down! Hoil on! Bring it all in!
Boy, Captain, find what you need. My needs and wants are oceans apart, mate. But I did fashion myself a new holster. All I need now is a pistol to lie in it. Yeah. Taken from the holds, just as I said. A little more than a blowpipe. But it'll do. So, are we rested? Or should we idle a while longer? Best way, Anchor. I think the crew is itching to reach civilization. You'll find no civilization in NASA. But it's a fine place to be merry all the same. By God, you're a sight for salty eyes. Come you in and have a drink. Morning, all. Why oh, can't we? Who's this? Adewale, the Jackdaw's quartermaster. Jackdaw. <laughs> you named your brig after a poxy bird. Adi, these lads are the better part of our growing confederacy here. Ed Thatch, Ben Hornigold, James Kidd. You let him carry a pistol, do you? Peace, Ben. Ade saved my life. And now we're looking to find a crew to fill out the rest of my ship. Well, there's scores of capable men about. But use caution. A shipload of the King's sailors showed up a fortnight back, causing trouble and knocking about like they own the place. Right. I'll see who I can muster. Cheers, Addy. You want to start serving with 50 lashes, Tar? Who'll be from the deep there, Captain? Jack thanks your hardy.
What in the name? My thanks. I'm your man now, Capitano. He's dead. My thanks. I'm your man now, Capitano. I 
the blood. Now you'll want to sail somewhere rich with plunder. Have you heard of a place called the Observatory? Aye. It's an old legend, like El Dorado or the Fountain of Youth. What have you heard? It's meant to be a temple or a tomb, hiding a treasure of some kind. That's it. You see here. Oh, all right. It's fairy stories you prefer a gold, is it? It's worth more than gold, Thatch. Ten thousand times above what we could pull off any Spanish ship. Robbing the king to pay his porpoise is how we earn our keep here, lad. It ain't a fortune. It's a fantasy. Not a bad-looking tinderbox you got there. You sound a bit green, horny gold. Is it envy? Because mine's bigger than yours. No, I reckon it's this Jamaican funk. I prefer the Spanish stuff. So, you've got yourself a fancy brig now. Fine. Well, I'm going to teach you how to say it all right. And how to take a prize the proper way. Thatch, we'll catch you up at the old fishing village. Aye. Right. Where's your helmsman, Kenway? I take pride in piloting my own ships, Ben. Keeps me alert. Let's make some headway, shall we? I've no need for schooling. How many prizes did we take together as privateers? There's a prize worth taking. Good! Take us in close. After you subdue a prize, project authority. Demand respect that you would never give yourself. This weaves a spell for soft minds. For your victims must always have in the back of their minds the uneasy idea that you can slip the and unseam them from prick to stern. Fire what hands you will. A man of...
fish if you must, but for God's sake, don't sink her. It's no fun fishing cargo out of the sea. Although it can be done. She's disabled now and taking on a decent amount of water. So keep your cannons quiet. Take care not to sink her. Oh, she's dead in the water. Steer up alongside her. Pull them down to hell, lads! Te tengo un buen día, senor. I am Captain Hornigold, and this is my crew. We're sailors like yourselves, but quite unalike in our purpose. For we intend to take all that you owe. Yet no harm shall befall any man so long as he remains at ease. Is that clear? No me mate, senor. Tengo familia. Se lo suplico. Anyone speak English? English? Little bit. Tell your friends we're stealing your goods, and we won't hurt nobody if everyone stays as still as a sandbar. You got that? Please to repeat. Oh, for fuck's sake. Lock them in the hold and take everything that isn't nailed down. shaky feeling sailing about with this much stolen cargo. Get used to it. You'll need to take a few more prizes to make this a profitable day. today, Kenway. Half a dozen scores of that size and you'll be set for a year. 
Now let's sell this cargo and fix up your jackdaw with a few more trinkets. Sod it, you. I'm looking for a prize that'll set me up for life. I'll be king of the West Indies, then. We came to Nassau to get away from the likes of kings. Well, I'll be a man of property and promise anyway. Jesus, let that dream go, lad. Nassau is the place to be, not England. Do you ever dream of the big score? A ship so full of gold and silver, just split it and sail home? Sure, but it's only a dream. Every man hopes to find a dozen chests of gold with no owners. They're as rare as an honest king. ¿Necesita ayuda, caballero? Bad take today. Keep this up, and Nassau will be the first city where men and women may live as God made them. Easy and free. All it takes is a few drops of blood, sweat, and a swatch of cloth. We fly no colors out here, but praise the lack of them. So let the black flag signal nothing but your allegiance to man's natural freedoms. This one's yours. Light proud. I will. I hand over the docket I lend you. If we're to keep our Republic afloat, we'll need guns as well as gold. That means attacking the Navy. So long as they're flying King Philip's colors will not offend our own monarch. As you've likely seen, the number of merchants roving these waters is three score the number of military ships. Hi, easy purchase, but in small doses. Right. So to lure the Navy out of hiding, it's best to cause a bit of mischief. Catch a few small fish to attract the big ones. That's right. So plunder and pillage as you see fit, Captain Kenway. Down the Trinity. Class brig on the horizon. Good eye, man. Are you ready for this, Kenway? She won't go down without an honest fight. Who's up for taking that brig, lads? So die! That's a sound I like to hear. Pipe to corners. All hands to cannons. Careful around the navy. There is likely to rag you as fire a broadside. Let's test those powder barrels against them, shall we? Aye, good thinking. Ready to fire, Captain! Fire! Oh, Don't expose! Make him pay! Fire! Ground on every inch of sand! Keep out of my way! Don't Too run! Fire! Lose the way! Oh, oh, fire! 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 Oh, man! You take 
Every last scrap of duck on the wind! Consul's out! Brief the topsail! Hold Go. back, here they come! Now we get Paul, reel the lovers in! Rumble by God. How do we fare? A fine purchase, no mistake. Now I think it's time to lay low and drive our way back into secrecy. Agreed. So, how do we get rid of this notoriety we've stirred up? Money, my boy. A well placed bribe to the right government official. To see the military off your tail. Right, let's do that. I'll need to meet these good Samaritans at some point. Smart thinking. Stop a moment. I can help you fade away. Thanks. Consider yourself absolved of all sin, my son. You're a wonder, Kenway. You've a knack for this kind of work. It ain't work if you love it. Ah! Ah! Sarge. But I ain't doing this forever, lads. Only until I get enough coin to buy some land and influence back home. <laughs> Jesus, will you listen to your tripe? Still dreaming on about that strumpet back in England when you could have any better you wanted here and now. Ah, such lofty goals for you, gents. And here I thought I was in the company of scoundrels. Fine purchase today. What's the crew's mood? All smiles and no teeth. And there's a few talking about meeting with Master Kid to steal from a nearby plantation. Plantation? That's ambitious. Profitable too, if we can manage it. Aye. It's a good idea.
Why, look. It's the bastard son of the late William Kidd. Still a mere boy, and yet... Ten times the demon his father was. Fancy seeing you here, Kenway. Still looking sleek and mean. Did you steal that costume from a dandy in Havana? No, sir. I found this on a corpse. One that was walking about and talking shite to my face only moments before. Huh. So, what's this I hear about a planned raid on a plantation? Not keeping secrets from me, are you? Not very well. Every day, schooners packed with sugar sail past, coming from plantations nearby. Most times they stop here, sell off a few crates. There's one man visiting today that had earned you a fine profit. So if you'd like to rob his plantation, I'll point him out. I would. Is it a Mr. Beckford that owns this plantation? That's the man. He owns dozens round these islands. And he's bloody rich. Just the sort I like to see robbed. His agent is around here somewhere. Find and follow him. And he'll lead you straight to your prize. <laughs> Despite the waywardness of your enterprise here, I understand that you are men of discernment. Burford, Manning, to me. We've done with this place. Aye, sir. What's our course? We'll return to the plantation and there take stock of our inventory. It was a good harvest this year. You may not talk so loud, sir. This isn't anything like a friend of Port Ken. Nonsense, man. I had a delightful conversation with the chap just now. We came to the and... As you say, sir. All up and unfell, boys. We're going home. Crafting a bold idea. Look, I've seen before. You mark well, I think. I've just overheard one of the Beckford's men talking grandly about his plantation and all the cargo he's keeping. And it gave me the idea that I might take these goods off him and sell them off for a better price than he ever has. <laughs> ah, a man of vision. I like this idea. Aloft, lads! Check those royals! Hold on. There's trouble afoot. I see them.
We're beelining for the rocks, sir. This man's working for Peter Backford's people. Do you know them? The Backfords and their sugar empire. Aye. The Backfords and the Draxes. I never worked their plantations, but I knew their names from hearing other men curse them. But you worked a plantation, no? A modest one, aye. As a striker in the boiling house. Boiling house? Was it water they boiled? Or something else? Cane juices. It's a hard process making sugar. Dangerous. Must be why it fetches such a dear price. What's it like? Toiling on a plantation day and night. Well, with the cane sugar cut and harvested, it's run between two metal rollers and crush the juice from the plant. After collecting the juice, it's time to boil it in water. This we get attached to the copper. Let me tell you, brother, boiling sugar is near the hottest thing on earth. Just a touch on the skin, it stick like wood lime and burn on, leaving a terrible scar. Jesus. Storm Captain, looks bad! To the open, sir! Bring some of our the wall, I can't aid. It's a risk to anchor too close. The soldiers roving the plantation will catch us for sure. Drop here then and sneak ashore. We'll look after the jackal. Disarray. Bit of a do, sir, that's all. It's Wilmington's birthday. And you saw fit to get pickled on duty. No oh, bother, sir. We've got everything sorted. We'll soon see, won't we? For you must double the watch this evening. Double, sir? Whatever for? I believe I was followed by pilots, if my eyes on me. Though the ship was uncommonly large for such rascals. Certainly wasn't slavers, though. Not a ship that size. In any case, double the watch. And keep your damned eyes wide for anything suspicious. You up there! Look alive, man! You've a job to do! Apologies, sir. I'll keep my eyes peeled. What the hell is going on here today? How do you suppose you'll be able to ring that alarm if you're piss drunk and barely able to stand? man in charge here. I require entrance to the warehouse. Which of you dogs has the key to the warehouse, huh? The key, goddammit! Someone find me the key! Is there no one sober here? Fetch me the warehouse key, if you please. Any drink. Any drink. I must stop. I want to talk to you. Stop the bastard. Help! Lost the filthy, lost the filthy prank. 
Here's to our pirate republic, lads. We're prosperous, free, and out of the reach of kings, clergy, and debt collectors. Near 500 men now pledge their allegiance to the brethren of the coast in Nassau. No bad number. True. Yet we lack sturdy defenses. If the king were to attack the town, he'd trample us. Then let us find the observatory. If it does what these Templars claim, we'll be unbeatable. Not that twaddle again, can we? It's a story for schoolboys. I mean, proper defenses. Steal a galleon, shift all the guns to one side. Make a nice ornament for one of our harbors. It will not be easy to steal a full Spanish galleon. Have you one in mind? I do, sir. And I'll show you. She's a fussock, she is. Fat and slow. Easy as she goes. No telling what you may find out here. Like staring through a waterfall. Don't saw your breeches, lads.
face to face with her. Hear that, can we? Keep your distance. We'll strike when fortune favors it. The cover of darkness, most likely. Ah, oh, you may come to that. Ghost the Royal! Come!
slinking off, his tail between his legs. That's good news for us. Bleeding bastards! We'll have to deal with this skirmish fast. Forget the galleon and send these interlopers to hell! Sailing for that island. Oh, I know the place. A natural stronghold used by a French captain named Decasse. Julian Decasse, the Templar. Name's right. Didn't know he had a title. I know the man. And if he sees my ship, he'll know it from his time in Havana, meaning he may wonder if he's sailing or not. I can't risk that. And I don't want to lose that galleon. Let's think on. Maybe wait till it's dark before hopping aboard. Gentlemen, as is custom among our kind, we do not plunge headlong into folly on the orders of a single madman, but act according to our own collective madness. <laughs> the object of our attention is a square-rigged galleon, and we want her for the advantage she'll bring Nassau. So I'll put it to the vote. All those in favor of storming this cove and taking this ship, Stomp and shout I! Those who oppose, whimper nay! Never was the King's Council so unified.
tú! ¡Salto ahí! ¡Te daré lo tuyo!
Blanco claro. Blanco claro. ¡No! The gift you gave me. Well, it answers just fine. Fist of Putra! As bold as a musket ball, and still half as sharp. I'm sorry about this, mate. But I can't risk you telling your Templar friends about me still kicking around. I pity you, Bukenyi. After all you have seen, after all we showed you of our order, still you embrace the life of an ignorant and aimless rogue. What's this? Is petty larceny the extent of your ambition? Have you no mind to comprehend the scope of ours? All the empires on Earth abolished, a free and open world without parasites like you. Que l'enfer que tu trouveras soit le fruit de ton insouciance. The cove is ours!